Success of Asian car brands during the UAW strike and a strike update. Yes, we're talking about Honda, Acura, Toyota, Lexus, Subaru, and Mazda. We also have a surprising total inventory update for you at the end. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Liz, we just covered Honda the other day, so we won't go into those details again. But for our viewers, if you happen to be a Honda fan, go back and see the other show if you missed it. Meanwhile, Automotive News reports that at Toyota and Lexus, hybrids make up almost a third of September sales, and Toyota brand sales rose 13% in September, and Lexus rose 21%. The reports show that Toyota Motor North America saw its sales jump 14% in September to 203904 powered by the stats Liz just mentioned, a 13% rise at volume brand Toyota and 21% gain at premium brand Lexus. Notably, hybrids accounted for 32% of the automaker's total volume in September. The prediction Mr. Toyota made last fall is looking better all the time, isn't it, Kevin? We covered that story when he stated that the EV goals in America were impractical and instead opted to go with more hybrids. That decision is paying off in spades right now. Interestingly enough, the larger Toyota Grand Highlander crossover outsold the smaller three-row Highlander, traditionally one of the Japanese brand's most popular products for a second consecutive month. If you recall perhaps helping this situation, the Grand Highlander went on sale back in June. Sure. Over at Subaru, things are looking up too. The Automotive News report shows Subaru deliveries rose 23% as Forrester leads for the third straight month. The 23% rise in Subaru sales in the U.S. in September meant 56,335 vehicles were delivered as production constraints continued to ease for this Japanese brand. Yes, the 56,335 Subaru sales meant that Subaru saw its 14th consecutive month of increases in September. Forrester led the way for a third straight month, and the Crosstrek fell back to number three behind the Outback. Troy Poston, Subaru head of sales, said in a written release, With this quarter in the books, our momentum hasn't slowed down as we've experienced another month of strong sales. Driving into the fourth quarter, we are confident our vehicle's appeal speaks volumes. Whether it's a vehicle geared up for an adventure or a dependable family car, Subaru has a lineup ready to exceed car buyer expectations. Mazda jumped on the bandwagon too with Mazda North American Operations reporting total September sales of 28,031 vehicles, an increase of 17.9% compared to September 2022. Year-to-date sales totals 272,617 vehicles, an increase of 26.6% compared to the same time last year. The company posted an increase of 13.4% on a daily selling rate basis. Interestingly, CPO sales, which are the certified pre-owned cars, totaled 5,558 vehicles in September, an increase of 34% compared to September 2022. Other sales highlights for Mazda, it's their 12th straight month of year-over-year -year gains, their best-ever sales of the CX-90 with 4,701 vehicles sold, their best-ever September sales of the CX-50 with 3,417 vehicles sold, and their best-ever September sales of the CX-30 with 6,924 vehicles sold. The follow-up question to all of this, is the UAW strike hurting domestic cars inventory and sales yet? Well, according to this headline, not yet. The UAW strike hasn't crimped Detroit through inventory levels yet. That said, of the three domestic automakers, General Motors has the biggest risk of running low on inventory, particularly if the UAW orders workers at its full-size truck plants onto the picket lines. The three-week-old UAW strike against the Detroit 3 so far has not significantly dented the automaker's U.S. inventory levels, though General Motors dealerships are the most at risk of running low, according to a new analysis. Cox Automotive said Thursday that Chevrolet and Cadillac have the lowest inventory levels among the domestic brands at 57 and 46 days supply, and some of the brand's most profitable nameplates are in tighter supply than that, according to Cox Automotive's inventory data. By contrast, Atlantis has the most inventory among the Detroit 3, Cox said, meaning it could be in a better position to withstand prolonged production stoppages. We are also aware that many dealerships across the country beefed up on their inventory heading into the strike because they knew the strike day was coming. The strike began September 15th with just two weeks left in the third quarter. The UAW's decision to target specific vehicle segments rather than launch a strike at every Detroit 3 assembly plant has had a relatively muted impact to date, analysts said. The UAW plans to give an update on bargaining and could choose to order workers at additional plants onto the picket lines. GM said it gave the union a new counteroffer this week as it attempts to avoid an escalation of the strike and tries to ultimately reach a deal. 
Many reports show that the UAW is expecting a 40% wage hike, wow. something we don't see happening and something we think will cause a slow downhill slide for all domestic manufacturers if it does happen. And then they want a 32-hour work week to boot. Oh, wow. The UAW demands are pretty crazy. GM, which reports U.S. sales on a quarterly basis this week, said it had 442,586 vehicles in stock or in transit as of September 30th. That was up 3.4% from the mid-year and up 23% from the year earlier. A GM spokesperson said in an email that the automaker's U.S. inventory was at its highest point since late 2020. The company declined to share day supply figures for specific models or comment on how the strike could affect inventory in the coming weeks. I'm assuming that's for strategic purposes with the strike that's ongoing. Right. Ford Motor Company this week said its September 30 inventory of 424,000 vehicles, a 67-day supply, Tops the 383,000 it had a month earlier and 315,000 a year ago. A spokesman did not respond to a request for comment. Like GM, Stellantis did not disclose inventory levels in its third quarter U.S. sales report. Cox estimated that Jeep, Dodge, Ram, and Chrysler all have more than a 100-day supply. In a statement, a spokesperson told Automotive News the company's inventory of Wranglers and Gladiators, production of which is halted because of the strike, is healthy, and that the impact of the strike on our product availability would depend on the length of time of the production disruption. Stephanie Brindley, Associate Director of Auto Intelligence for S&P Global Mobility, said, It all depends, of course, on how long this goes. Because that's the magic million-dollar question that we don't have an answer to. I'd say more than a million. (laughs) Yeah. The UAW strike began as industry-wide inventory levels were recovering after three years of production disruptions from the pandemic and shortages of microchips and other critical parts. But we sit here today being able to close this show with an amazing report on total inventory levels in the car market. Yes, we just reported last month that inventory levels had jumped over the 2 million mark. And now Cox said last Thursday that the total U.S. supply of unsold new vehicles reached 2.21 million, the most since the spring of 2021. Friends, if you're overly hungry for a car deal right now and you want one sooner than later, not only is inventory at a very healthy level, but they are steadily climbing, which totally works in your favor. Add to that that we're also in the fourth quarter of the year. Dealers make or break themselves on how they do this time of year. Yep. None of them can afford to finish on a sour note. They need every buyer who comes along, and that includes you. Use this knowledge to your advantage. Take some time, play the game with a few dealers, get a few of them involved, pitting them against each other, and you might be very happy with what happens. The hungriest of the bunch will step up and make you an offer that you are unlikely to say no to. Do your homework and strategize your moves. Visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com, and take advantage of our free resources for car buyers. Look through our menu of videos and watch any titles that you think apply to you the most. You hear us talk about 11 fake fees a lot, so make sure you don't miss that one. If you're a cash buyer, see this video titled, Don't Say I'm Paying Cash with Me and Elizabeth. Also, if you're a cash buyer, make sure you contact the dealer and ask this very simple question. If I make a substantial down payment on the possible car deal at your dealership, can I write a personal check for that? There's an important reason why you asked this question, and what is that, Kevin? Well, if they say yes to that question, yes, you can write a personal check for a substantial down payment, you can also rest assured that the dealership will accept a personal check for the entire purchase, too, if you decide to go that route. That's handy information to have because... Then you don't have to go to the bank and get a bank-issued counter check or a certified check in advance. Even if the dealer says, well, we will have to wait a couple days to make sure the check clears. No problem. Just go back a few days later and pick up your car. By the way, anyone wishing to show us some love for producing great videos on YouTube with a donation can find a link in the description box for our nonprofit charity to help children. That's where we'd love to see your support. GiveSendGo.com slash WollastonKidsFirst. Help support our mission to help local children. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guide team in our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. If you just recently joined the Homework Guide channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, The Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, The Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We We gotta gotta go. go.